Hello everyone, so today I want to show you how you can upload a response to any of the application problem questions. These are where you actually have to draw something, write something, um, do something that it can't be like a multiple choice or a numerical problem in Moodle. So let's go ahead and preview this quiz now and see how it works. Okay, so right here we see it says add the necessary information to the drawing to permit exception to the requirement of rule number one. Well, what's rule number one? Well you have to read the book and find out what that means. You have this drawing here. Now, if you want to, for any of these kinds of problems, you can draw this by hand and then add in your, you know, what we need to to um, finish it. It's only if you want to. If you don't want to draw it by hand, you want to use something digitally, you can do what I'm about to show you. Either way, um, the process will be very similar. So, if you want to do it digitally on your computer, what you'll probably do is you'll first say, okay, I'm going to open up my snipping tool, or you can take a screenshot, whatever you have to do so. I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to take this section right here. I'm going to select it. And it will open up my snipping tool. If I want to, you can put this in Paint 3D by clicking Copy and put it somewhere else. Or you can just solve it right here. I'm going to solve it right here because why not? This is pretty nice. So for this question right here, all I have to do is add the independency symbol. Now that's a terrible drawing. It's just an I. I'll make it a little top things. There we go. So that right there says that I can break rule number one. Now having done this, I need to save this. So I'll go ahead and save. And I'll put this on my desktop. And I'll make sure it has a good name of test. Actually, app prob four. Four. There we go. File type doesn't matter too much. Um, now if you're in a Mac user, if you have an HEIC file type, that does mess things up for me. Now once you've done that, or once you have uploaded a picture from your phone onto the computer, you're going to come back here and you're going to go to this button that looks kind of like a mountain, a landscape. If you click on it, it says insert or edit image. So I'm going to click on insert, you're going to go to browse repositories, and then you're going to go to choose file. And you're going to look for it, you're going to look around, ah, there's the problem I either made digitally or I uploaded from my phone to my computer. You're going to click on it, click open, and then upload this file. Now when you get here, it's going to have lots of information for you. You'll be able to see it like, okay, don't worry about changing the size, it's completely fine. And one last thing, click on description not necessary. Click save image. Now you can see that your answer is now in here. And then we can go ahead and finish the attempt. You can go do all of them if you wanted to. Either way, you're good. This is the start. So, if you're doing that, you'll be done. So I hope this helps you. If you're having any issues with this, remember you can always just draw, write it by hand, uh, draw by hand, and then upload a picture from your phone, which might be easier for you. So try these out, see what you think. I'll be uploading some videos fairly soon of um, me solving various problems. So thanks for listening. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.